People always say that if you really want something, you should go ahead and take it. Oh, I mean, that's at least what Rockstar Games seems to be saying. Alright. Here's the shot. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Grand Theft Auto heists. Come on, Frank. Let's go, buddy. I've got it. Number 10, The Fleeka Job, Grand Theft Auto Online. Fireworks, you know? It'll be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and, uh... Grand Theft Auto V had a whole new focus on multiplayer, which was why Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto Online and its exclusive heist missions, along with other content. The first of these was The Fleeka Job, probably the easiest heist to complete. The aim is to steal bonds from safe deposit boxes in Fleeka Bank in Bantam Canyon. It needs only two players to complete, one responsible for crowd control and the other for getting the bonds from the vault. Once completed, you both drive off into the sunset together. Pretty sweet. Number 9, The Prison Break, Grand Theft Auto Online. So, before we remove Professor Rashkovsky from his unwelcome stay in prison, we've got to We've got to clean up a few other loose ends pertaining to the case. While the Fleeka job got things off to a good start, it was quickly followed up by the much less conventional prison break heist. Agent 14, who constantly insists he's just an innocent bystander, approaches the players and asks them to bust an important researcher, Maxim Rashkovsky, out of prison, and with a potential payout of half a million bucks, who could refuse? You need four people to steal a plane, hijack a bus, and then pose as cops in order to sneak into the prison, unleash chaos, and then get Rashkovsky to safety so that nobody can collect the bounty on his head. Hey, what are you good for this? Number 8, Blitz Play, Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. At the risk of being blackmailed by secret agent Steve Haynes, the three protagonists of GTA 5 are caught up in a guerrilla war between the FIB and the IAA. They are forced to rob an agency armored vehicle filled with drug money from illegal deeds that the organization is carrying out. The Bureau wants this money to be requisitioned, leading to a complex heist involving novelty movie masks, a tow truck, and a garbage truck. This ends in a street war between our three anti-heroes and the entirety of the LSPD, in what Michael describes as a classic blitz play. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying f <laughs> Number 7, The Bureau Raid, Grand Theft Auto V. Now once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call. And you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? As if an FIB agent convincing you to steal from the agency wasn't bad enough, next he convinces you to take from the Bureau itself. The FIB has found incriminating evidence about his involvement in stealing from the agency, which obviously needs to be erased from the Bureau's own hard drives. For this mission, you can choose to either break in through the roof, blockbuster style, or take the more subtle approach by planting a bomb and then posing as a fire crew sent in to rescue people. Of course, nobody gets rescued, but driving a fire truck around and stealing a classified hard drive is definitely one way to kill an afternoon. Let's go, where we stash the car, come on. Number six, the Pacific Standard Job, Grand Theft Auto Online. It's hard for players not to feel a little nostalgic for the Three Leaf Clover heist from GTA 4 during this last heist from the 2015 heists update for online, as the players commit a classic bank robbery here. It requires four players. One has to hack the vault door keypad, one has to demolish security gates with thermite, while the remaining two are on crowd control. Take as much money as you can and then make your escape, mowing down the LSPD with miniguns and rocket launchers. But don't have too much fun, you gotta work hard if you wanna save every last cent of that $1.25 million payout. Oh my friends! <laughs> we did it! Number five, the Humane Labs Raid, Grand Theft Auto Online. In this sequel heist to the Prison Break mission mentioned earlier, the players are enlisted in helping the enigmatic Agent 14 again, this time stealing back the fruits of Rashkovsky's rather inhumane research. The players need to use a stolen EMP bomb to cut the power and then break into the building with night vision goggles in search of illegal chemical weapons and nerve agents. While half of your team are busy doing that, the others are sitting high and dry in a stolen attack helicopter, 
waiting to fight off any pesky law enforcement officers or soldiers that get in the way. When I ran agents in the field, I had to entrap them, cajole them, threaten them with deportation. You're never gonna know what I had to do. Now, apparently, all you gotta do is give them a couple bucks and a few kind words. Number four, the doomsday heist, Grand Theft Auto Online. My work with artificial intelligence, thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. GTA characters generally care more about getting rich quick than saving humanity from certain doom, but that doesn't stop them from playing the hero in this unique online heist mission. Long story short, a weird billionaire shows up out of nowhere and says that a mysterious foreign power is going to hack San Andreas' nuclear defense systems and start World War III, which obviously wouldn't be good for any up-and-coming criminals. It entails some of the most complicated setup and prep missions of any heist in the series, but it also involves cool new weapons, vehicles, and an exciting story. Thank you. All of you. The world, the world owes you a massive favor. Oh, um, well, we like cash. Number three, the Paletto score, Grand Theft Auto V. Grab the tape, a rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a work for everyone? Great, let's go. It starts off as a pretty simple job where the FIB persuades Michael, Franklin, and Trevor to rob over 80 million worth of safe deposit boxes from a bank in Paletto Bay. While sometimes these heists will actually go off pretty smoothly, this one does not, to say the least. Halfway through it all gets botched, and the protagonists are faced with enormous police and military resistance. Sweet mother shit. Which leads to them making their escape in the only getaway vehicle Franklin can find, a bulldozer. While robbing a bank is pretty average for a heist, escaping in the bucket of a bright yellow bulldozer definitely is not. And that's why the Paletto score is so memorable. Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Number two, the jewel store job, Grand Theft Auto V. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. While there are a few heists in the franchise previous entries, this one set the tone for GTA V and what its missions and gameplay would look like. Michael DeSanta comes out of retirement and decides to rob a jewel store, where the player chooses to either go loud or smart. Smart involves stealing a pest control van and dressing up in boiler suits, gassing the place, and then stealing the goods while everyone's unconscious, while loud involves the typical guns blazing approach. But regardless, both end in an awesome motorcycle chase through the sewers of Los Santos. Now we duck to the right, into these tunnels. We should be able to get into a tunnel just here. Number one, the big score, Grand Theft Auto V. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Throughout the campaign of Grand Theft Auto V, Michael's only way of keeping Trevor, the group's token psychopath, on his side is by promising that they will one day eventually rob the Union Depository, which is where the fictional America of GTA keeps its gold reserve. So yes, you're basically breaking into Fort Knox. Like other missions in the game, it has two approaches, subtle and obvious. Subtle involves stealing a van with spike traps and then taking the gold while it's being moved while obvious has you stealing a gigantic tunnel digging vehicle called a cutter along with a train and a helicopter. I don't think we need to explain which one we usually pick, but either way, this is a heist for the books. We have just made history. Uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.